curious just the, the nature of the season. The room is so young, right? It seems like every week it's a, a different rookie out there playing half society. Um, as, as the vet in the room, I know you only got all like, the players on your belt, but what, what's been the challenges, I guess, of uh, you know helping bring those guys along with also maybe trying to elevate your game to that next level? Uh. I wouldn't say challenges, but I would say, you know, just trying to get guys to know, you know, the sense of urgency of where we're at in the season and, um, you know, how, how quickly we need them to just be vets. You know what I mean? Like, no one can be considered a rookie right now. Like, we're halfway through the season. You know the ropes. You know how it goes. You got to be ready to play right now. So it's just getting those guys to just be urgent in the detail of everything in the game plan. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. We saw if he played pretty well for that, that half game that he started, and then Jerry comes in and busting some guys up and then Mark Gilbert comes yeah. out and uh, PBU, fumble, I mean just what does that speak to I guess the job Aubrey's doing with, with the guys in your room? I mean, it speaks volumes. Uh, you know, he prepares everyone like they're a starter. Uh, no matter what year you are, undrafted, drafted, it doesn't matter. You got to be ready to play. Um, and I think that that shows right there. Every guy who stepped up is um, made plays and uh, is ready. So, You've got quite a few reps under your belt at this point, right? Like, you know, this is your second full season and starting goal. Where, where do you feel you're at with your, you know, developing your own game? Where, where are some areas that you're really happy for you're at and maybe where you're still trying to, you know, take your game to the next level? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm still, I just scratched the surface of where I'm at. Um, like you said, it's only my third year. So, uh, I'm, <laughs> come on, bro, don't do this, don't do this. Come on, right? All right. I'm just scratching the surface of my, uh, you know, my career, my my, my level of play, uh, and at the same time, just trying to be a leader, trying to, you know, be. He's lying. <laughs> grow, grow, grow uh, in in film study, grow in, uh, like I said, leadership, uh, finding a way to, you know, my ball skills, just trying to find a way to enhance. I don't think there's any part of my game where I can say I've arrived. I've, you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm at my peak. I can always get better everywhere. Do you approach it like that way all the time? Like you never, you never kind of complacent, I guess. Yeah, I mean you have to in this league, man, because it's you know that's just how it is. You got uh, the minute you slip up, the minute you think that you know you arrived, that you've um, you've made it or something, then there's a guy behind you just licking his chops, waiting. So uh, you just gotta approach that every single day, and I think that's the that's a great way to go. I don't know what the reason behind it is, but durability is a tough thing in your position, right? Uh, you know, we're seeing obviously in this roster with guys setting up. You, you've played a lot of football over the last couple of years. And what, what does it mean to you? How, how much pride do you take in the fact that you are uh, you know, consistently available for this team? Uh, I take a lot of pride in that. I think, uh, you know, just the simple fact of being out there, you give our team a chance to win. You know what I mean? And uh, so, like, you know, in this league, taking care of your body is such a big thing. Your body is everything. So um, I try to just stay in the routine, keep it, stay in my routine of what I do and uh, just be be available. All right, thanks. Uh, so, Boyle, obviously taking the first thing out of the We're good. Uh, you know, I've always thought highly of Tim, so it is next man up mentality. So.